See you peasy. Find a website like ambientcg.com that does textures. Select the texture you want, and then click on the resolution you want to download it. Put the folder to where you want it on your computer, and then press Extract All. Then load up Blender and add a plane. Go into Edit Preferences, and find the Node Wrangler add-on. Tick the box and click Save Preferences. Now click on the Shading tab and go into Texture Preview Mode. And in the Node Editor below, click on the plus icon to add a new texture. Now click on the Principal BSDF node, press Ctrl Shift T, find your textures, select all of them, and click Principal Texture Set. Now click on the Render Preview Mode, select the Layout tab, and move the light over your mesh to see how your texture is working. And if you're happy with just the bump, that's fine, but if you need more depth, then add some displacement. So to add depth to this completely flat plane, in the Render Properties tab, click Cycles, change the feature set from Supported to Experimental, and on the Materials tab under Settings, change the Displacement from Bump Only to Displacement and Bump. And as you can see, not much has happened, it's because we need more geometry. So click on the Modifiers tab, Add Modifier, and choose Subdivision Surface. Click on Adaptive Subdivisions and your mesh will have some displacement. However, there's way too much displacement. So go back to Shading, Click on your Displacement node, and lower the scale until you're happy with the depth of your geometry. Go back into Layout mode, have a look at your texture, move the light over it a couple of times just to make sure you're happy with the way it looks. Now you're ready to make a stone path, a block wall, or even a castle. And that, my friends, is... CHPZ!